Hey friends, in the previous few videos we had seen how we can create groups and how we can add members inside the group which we have created on Google Admin Console. Now in this video we will learn about the dynamic group. What is the benefit of the dynamic group and how we can create the dynamic group. So suppose if you have uh, 200 users which belongs to sales department and you have mentioned the uh, department value is sales for all those users and you just want to add all those users in a specific group so what you need to do you need to just create a dynamic group so in case if any users which belongs to sales department if their attribute value is matching sales so all the users will be added automatically dynamically in a group which will be created as a dynamic group so just go on the users and see the user properties values like department or some other attributes you can select as per your requirement but in this video I will show you we will select the user attribute value department is cells and uh, similarly we will see other users that is ENG1 and the property value the department value of this user is also cells now we have two users which belongs the sales department now we just create a group and we just want to add all those users which belongs to sales department in a dynamic group so we don't require to add individual users in a group we will just create a dynamic group we will select the attribute and we will select the attribute sales then automatically all the members all the users which having the sales department that will be added automatically so what we need to do we need to just go on the groups in the groups just click on the create dynamic groups here you need to just specify the condition what condition will be used to verify the users before adding like I will select the department so scrolling it down and uh, searching the department value and uh, this is the department and the equals condition is cells so in case any users having the cells department that will be added automatically so this is not only for the current users but also this will be used for the upcoming users which belongs to the sales department that will be added automatically as well so we just need to check the condition and uh, click on the add condition here we have just selected the condition sales department now click on the preview see there are the two users which belongs to the uh, sales department these users will be added now click on the create dynamic group and specify the group name I'm just going to specify the sales sales team and group email will be sales so this is the group email address and this is the group name and this is the description for this group and now I'm going to click on the save so the group has been created now you can just modify the group settings for sales department and you can also see the group made details for the uh, sales department so just click on the uh, description now you can see there are the two dynamic members has been added and I'm just going back so this group has been created now go on the groups now you can see the sales department has been uh, created with the two members we haven't added manually we have just specified the department equal to sales and the users has been added automatically now we will create a new users and will specify the department value as well and I will see the users will be added automatically in the uh, sales group because it will just check the condition for the user department now I'm going to specify sales one sales dot user 
and uh, user this is the email address for this account now I will click on the add new user user has been created done I will go on the users now you can see the user has been created sales user I will go on this user properties and I will specify the department value this is the department uh, this is the department now sales and we'll click on the sales save now the email account has been created with the details sales now I will go on the groups see there are the three members has been added automatically so the dynamic group helps you to not only add the current users with their attribute value but also it is used for the upcoming users to check uh, it will first check the uh, attribute which is matching with the dynamic group creations when we were creating the dynamic groups so this will also add the upcoming users so this is the way which you need to just follow to create the dynamic groups on the google admin panel thank you for watching this video